Hey folks, brother, welcome back to another Pump Massive video, and today we're gonna try and beat the Hoenn Ultra Hard Extreme Battle, right? Uh, Unity Gala, whatever the heck, uh, with a fully free-to-play team. So I actually, I actually, uh, just had a recording where I almost beat it, I was in one hit of beating it, but right before that, my Zam Center got hit by a 5% crit AoE move and it died because I forgot to roll Vigilance, so I went over to roll Vigilance. Uh, which I got in, in three uh, cookies, thankfully, very, very, very fast. So let's try this again. So anyways, um, these opponents are annoying, right? They debuff your stats, debuff your stats, and debuff your stats non-stop. So uh, what I thought would be probably helpful is we'll bring in Flannery, who, first of all, really uh, respectable uh, physical um, you know, defenses, right? But also has Impervious, so the opponents can't debuff your stats. How amazing is that, right? Plus, she has uh, physical defense uh, buffs as well, right? And then you have, like, um, uh, will o -Wisp to burn the opponents. As for regret, it's literally just stat notes. Nothing else, right? Okay, like, there's a will o -Wisp accuracy plus 10, then, like, Ember move gauge refresh. Everything else is just stat notes. Just stat notes. Just as much physical defense and HP as you could find. Because the opponents are mostly physical. As for Xenia or Quaza, I uh, no weather stuff. Just straight, just outrage power up, right? And sync move power up nodes. Outrage, move gauge, refresh, just pretty straightforward, just damage. Uh, Zamzenta's grid is, uh, you got a bit more interesting stuff in here. You got MP refresh for hop to it, and then master healer on potions, MP refresh on potions, unbending, so our defense don't get um, debuff, and then move gauge refresh on metal claw. So, yeah, let's let's do this, I guess. Um, so, here's, here's, here's um, I guess, the move order. We're going to train a move. With these guys, we're gonna will o -Wisp here, so we burn the opponents, right? I'm uh, gonna Stellar uh, Imagination here again. So here's a few things we need. First of all, we need the opponent to not, um, to not paralyze Torkoal over here with body slams, because if he paralyzes, we're, our move gauge is dead, right? Second thing, we didn't get paralyzed, which is the second thing we need MP refresh on, hop to it. All right, if you don't get the MP refresh on, hop to it. Restarted, I guess. Try to get the uh, the MP refresh over here. So, yeah, yeah, you need no paralyze, uh, MP refresh on hop to it, crit on your sinks, right? And don't get crit by 5% crits. Because the opponent doesn't really have crit buffs. There's like one sure crit move, but like usually you should be uh, finished with the opponent uh, by the time they get to that sure crit move, so it doesn't really matter. So, yeah, as long as you just have don't have bad luck, you should be fine. Right, should be fine. All right, MP refresh. Oh, there we go. Got the MP refresh. No paralyze here. No paralysis. Ah, there's the paralysis. See, again, you you do need to retry this a few times just for the um the luck, right? So if they paralyze you, just immediately just try again, I guess. <laughs> you can do that. Um. All right, let's uh let's do this. And hope no paralyze and MP refresh on hop train move. How should move MP refresh and be like that bad? Because I mean, it is like MP refresh 3, so 40% chance of it happening. I guess we're just really unlucky there. So. Uh, will o there. Oh, also land your will o I guess. But like, chance of landing will o is pretty high overall. There we go, got the MP refresh. Just need no paralysis here. And we are good to go. Alright, at least for the first part. There's still some more RNG stuff, but like. So far, we're, we're, we're fine. No Barora, they're gonna no Barora us, try to like debuff our stats, but since Hop, not Hop, let's just, uh, Flannery has Impervious, we're not gonna get debuffed, which is great, <laughs> right? Okay, uh, let's get the burn in there, hop to it, so we max crit. So our first sync, uh, Outrage, we're gonna hit the, uh, hit the teddy bear. Uh, but our first teddy bear. But our first sync, we're gonna sync the Kamo, actually. Alright, we're gonna sync the Kamo here. Uh, since, I mean, it is Dragon Week. Right, so that's obviously helpful. We're gonna sync Kamo. Uh, do some damage there, but then after that, we're just gonna attack the mid. We need a crit here, though. There we go, got the... Got the crit we needed. Alright, too hot to handle. One more, so we max out our, uh, physical defenses. Again, uh, these guys' defense are gonna. Well, okay, we have unbedding on Sam's end as well, but um, yeah, a Rayquaza's uh, defense are gonna get debuffed here, unfortunately, but it's not that big of a deal. 
All right, Ember. When we have move gauges, use Ember. When you don't have move gauges, use the uh, X special attack thing. Whatever. Again, you're not here to do damage to Torkoal. No paralysis. No paralysis. Good. 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 Yeah, that's that's good stuff. Because again, don't want to get paralyzed by the opponents here unnecessarily. All right. Outrage here, and then we'll just we'll just continue sinking um, the the teddy bear, right? So here's what we do after their sink. After their sink, the opponent is going. The sink's gonna do a decent amount of damage, but the opponent's going to use their train move. So we're gonna potion Zamazenta, right? Potion Zamazenta first. Don't worry about Torkoal. Don't worry about Torkoal at all, right? Oh, in terms of, uh, again, speaking of RNG, we do need the MP refresh on this potion as well, right? We just need one MP Refresh and Potion, so it's not like not that bad. So, MP Refresh and Potion. And we need to Potion Zamzenta here, and then we Potion uh, the Rayquaza afterwards. Because the Gallade is going to use an AoE move, right? Which is going to hurt. Ooh, no MP Refresh there. Alright, MP Refresh here maybe? That'll be very, very clutch, please. <laughs> Because we do, because again, we, we do need something to keep the Torkoal alive. We need a potion for everyone. All right, there we go. That's it. That's good. That's good. Um, I wouldn't really use the potion just yet. Right? Uh, yeah, we'll use it here on the hammer arm. Uh, what we actually can do over here is hit the um, hit the Kamo over here, so we could get a uh, so we get a extra turn deny. Plus, I think the Kamo might use like a AoE move here, if I remember correctly. I might, yeah, yeah, it's breaking swipes, yeah. So there we go. Get an extra turn there. We sink the uh, the Sawyer again, right? We potion the Torkoal here, and hopefully it survives the Giga Impact. Hopefully we don't get crit on a five percent crit because I don't have vigilance on this guy. Because I mean, why would you? <laughs> right. Um. Sink here, as long as we don't get crit on this gig impact. As long as we don't get crit on the gig impact. We're good. We go. Alright. We're good, no crit, no crit. So far so good, so far so good. Doing very, very well. Alright, heals, MP refresh? Alright, no, no more MP refresh, that's fine, that's fine. We'll survive, we'll survive. It's okay. Don't worry about it. So they're gonna use sure crit next turn. Right, which is, you know, cringe, but um, doesn't matter because we're going to take them out before they sure crit sink there. Right, we're going to take them out before they sure crit crit, uh, sure, sure crit crit, sure crit sink. Because if you don't take it out here, they're going to sure crit sink, which is going to hurt a lot. You, you don't, you don't want to get hit by a sure crit sink. All right, make sure you don't hit the wrong target. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just nervous right now. Because we almost have it. And since they're gonna guarantee sync here, right? Uh, you don't have to worry about them doing anything else shady. Right? Not li like not like the Glade's just gonna randomly pull something, you know, on you. Uh, Glade's gonna close combat here. Do not care. All right? Sync here, and then that's gonna continue to increase our outrage damage. Obviously, the sync's not gonna do that much damage, but it's a decent amount, I'd say. Metal Claw here. Close combat. Uh, oh, we got crit. No way. We should be fine, though. We should be fine. Oh, we got hit. Uh, all right. We should be fine. Wait, it was sure crit all. It was sure crit all or just sure crit for himself. It doesn't matter. We should be fine. Outrage here. Two more outrage takes it out. Right. Oh, no. No. <gasps> okay. 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 Instead of the metal claw at the last part. Uh, behind the bash, behind the bash, <laughs> behind the bash it. Or you could behind the bash like that thing. Every time you get like enough gauge, behind the bash, behind the bash glade. So you could do some chip damage glade. <laughs> that was really really close. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. Uh, if you had a bit better luck, if you get like one extra MP refresh potion, you should be fine, right? Should be completely fine. Uh, but yeah. Oh, also, don't get <laughs> if you don't get crit by the five or, or whatever. 
Um, so uh, actually, it should be sure. Uh, whatever. I I don't remember. But yeah, here's the again. You do need a bit of RNG. The RNG you need is uh, don't get crit by five percent crits, right? So it's a ninety five percent chance of you succeeding, <laughs> right? Um, don't get don't get paralyzed by the body slams, right? And then get one MP refresh on potion, one MP refresh on hop training move, and crit on your Zinnia sinks, and you're good to go. All right, so anyways, that's for this one. I guess hope y'all enjoyed. Let me guys see in the comments down below. Like, just finish around town for some more Pokemon Masters content. Uh, have fun. Good luck, cause you'll need a bit of luck. And I'll see you guys in the next one.